It's... I'll do it for science. All right, for science. How is it? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> <laughs>A good blender can tackle everything from smoothies to waffle batter to Bernays sauce. And while we reviewed high-end, mid-range, inexpensive, and personal blenders, we recently found out about a new kind of blender, the portable rechargeable kind. These handheld single serving blenders are becoming extremely popular. You can take them anywhere, to the beach, on a camping trip, to the gym, or to work. We're all about smoothies and margaritas on the go, so we had to check these things out. We bought four models priced from about $32 to $40, and we rated them in three categories. Blending ability, ease of use, and cleanup. Let's check out the highlights. All right, so we are gonna make protein shakes, smoothies, margaritas, and green goddess dressing in each one of these little blenders. All right, this is our first candidate here. Yep, this is by Pop Babies. Please reverse the blender first, then press the button, return it back, and shake the blender for a while. So reverse, turning it upside down, press the button, shake it, so. It's well blended. Yay. I don't like protein shakes, but, it, yeah. but it's, it, this That's little guy I mean, did its job. This one sounds not quite as powerful. Yeah. It's quieter, so it did mostly fine, but if it's not working 100% great with this test, I'm a little worried. Okay, so we're gonna try to make our frozen fruit smoothie. It's breaking that up. You can see the pieces are getting smaller and smaller. Mm. Are the particles a good size? Yeah, totally fine. Do yeah. I have any, anything in my teeth? Nope, perfect. <laughs> I think it's literally it's trying jammed. to turn, so it is jammed. It's, I see it, it just tried to turn and then it got stuck. Ugh, it's too Every time you turn that, I see stuff leaking out of that shaker because there's like a, a shaker layer. Oh, what a mess. Okay, uh, not happy. We've got our blade going and is it moving? It's whipping around. Definitely some larger particles. You're gonna need dental Pretty floss chunky. after this. Now we're gonna try making margaritas. Dancing around yeah. a little bit. It's working hard. Wow. Ice can be actually be pretty challenging for a blender and yeah. this did it perfectly. It's rattling. They're kind of like, it's kind of more like mini ice cubes than a frozen drink. So we are about to do green goddess dressing in this portable blender. Look how uniform it's getting. This yeah. is pretty impressive. So you can like be driving home from work making your salad dressing. <laughs> as long as you're not the driver. I mean, this looks just like green goddess should. Our green goddess is kind of pale grayish. Green and white goddess, yeah. yeah. So it's not really turning green like the other model did. The pieces look like they're getting smaller, a little more green uniformly. Sign. Not terrible. No, that looks pretty good. Three of the blenders performed really well, blending everything from smoothies and margaritas to green goddess dressing with ease. But one blender choked on anything that wasn't just protein powder and water. It took more than five minutes to fully blend a frozen fruit smoothie, and it never completely finished a frozen margarita. All right, let's go on to our second round, ease of use. This is by Pop Babies, and uh, it comes with some little accessories like a funnel to fill it and its own little ice cube tray. It opens up top, and we're gonna make our protein shake. So I'm gonna try their little funnel thing gummy. The opening is small, but the funnel does help. No funnel. No funnel. But slightly wider opening. Easy to load. It's a, it's a little small. Wow, yeah. yeah. that really, I wasn't paying much attention. And I almost overflowed that. It's going to be interesting because it's already almost totally full and there's no room for booze. No room for the tequila. <laughs> oh no. Definitely has a smaller opening than some of the other ones. Yeah, it's like a little over two inches. And no like... funnel or, or any accessories to help you out here. Oh. Ooh. It stopped. Do you have to hold it? Yeah, that, that button gets me every time. Like I don't, I push it, nothing happens. I push it again, nothing happens. That is kind of annoying. This is kind of cool that you can 
unscrew it this way to get a nice wide opening to load it, mm -hmm. flip it over, and on this side it's got a, uh, a, spout, for a spout for drinking, fork, and a cup. Cool. And you can see it charges by a USB port, um, which is handy. You can charge it in the car, charge it off your computer, charge it at your house. So we're going to put each one of the portable blenders inside the water bottle pocket of a backpack and take a walk, see if it holds in place or if it falls out, if it feels awkward in some way. Okay, so I'm putting it in the pocket. Goes in pretty deeply. Feels pretty secure. This one's a little heavier, but it's got, because it's bigger, it has a bigger capacity. And we're going to see if it fits as well in there. Yeah, it slides down. It's a little heavy. It's a little smooth, so I sort of fear that if I'm not upright, it might slide out like that. It's got the wider base that kind of anchors it in the cup holder when it wants to slide out. It's a little bit tall, but it's pretty thin. It's not very heavy. During this round, we not only tested the functionality of the blenders, but also did some real world testing to see if these things are actually convenient. A couple of them were difficult to operate or were more challenging to walk around with, but they were all pretty light and easy enough to toss into a backpack or a duffel bag. All right, so let's move on to our third and final round, cleanup. Okay, so for cleaning these, you obviously can't immerse it because it's got the, the power pack in the bottom. So you're just gonna kind of almost make a smoothie with your, um, first I'll, maybe I'll just do it with water and then add a little soap. It's pretty impressive for something that sticky and all different components, green and oily mayonnaise to clean up that easily. Yeah. Yeah, it's a mess. We're gonna need to get out the sponge and yeah. wash this the traditional way. Okay, still totally full of dressing. Look at that, it's disgusting. Okay, I still see stuff underneath the jar. So it's like in the base around the bottom of the ring. So I, I have to not rinse them. Yeah, we can't rinse it. So we'll have to detail that with a paper towel or a sponge so yeah. to get in there. Yeah, there's stuff in there. There is stuff in there. And you can't put that under the tap. You're going to have to no, wipe so that No, so you'd want to carefully get a sponge and kind of detail in there and, and rinse it and wipe it. Generally, most of these little blenders were OK. But one really stood out to us. Drum roll. The Pop Baby's personal portable blender at 37 bucks was the best of the bunch. It blended perfectly, was super easy to use, and really easy to clean. It is our overall winner. For more info on our winner and the other products we tested, check out the links below. Make sure to leave us your questions in the comments, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.